Hey guys, so just because I am home for the holidays does not mean that I have stopped cosplaying or working on my cosplays. As you can see, I'm sitting on about four yards of white fabric. Um, it's just a nice heavy duty, I assume it's a cotton. I don't know, it's four dollars a yard. I was like, great, give me, give me four yards and we're good to go. Um, so what I've been doing is this is for Bert's Jolly Holiday costume from uh, Mary Poppins. I have a friend in London who has Mary's Jolly Holiday outfit and I thought, hey, I'm gonna be in London to graduate from my master's program in January. Why don't I make this costume and we can shoot with one of my favorite photographers and have the quintessential Jolly Holiday photos in a London park. Like, it's gonna be amazing. I'm so excited. So, the problem is finding the right fabric for Bert's suit jacket. So, what I did is I just bought white fabric, and I have... I'm not sure how clear this will be. These are the fabric paints I'm using. Just went to a craft store and bought whatever fabric paint they had. Um, the brand is So Soft by Deco Art, and the colors I have are Crimson, Cadmium Orange, and Bright Yellow. Um, and I'm really liking how they're looking so far. Um, as you can see, I've just done a few panels. Um, this is not going to be a quick project. Um, but Blue Painter's Tape is my friend because it won't leave any residue when I take it off, which is great. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just using a ruler to measure them out. The red stripes are larger than the orange and the yellow ones. So I'm using... Wow, well, scoot back and forth. <laughs> I'm using the full thing for the red and about half, um, it has a line halfway through and using that for the orange and the yellow. Um, just slowly going at it, slowly going. <laughs> so we'll see if I can do this whole fast forward thing and see if that actually works at all. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm super excited for how this is going to turn out and I haven't really done much tailoring or any tailoring really so this will be a fun new project for me. <laughs>
So it's the next morning. I've got my coffee, clearly. <laughs> um, and this is the result. Look at that. Like, perfection. I am so beyond happy. I'm so excited to work with this. And you know what? It was so easy. I, I've never done anything like this before. I painted Anna's skirt in a winter outfit, but other than that, I haven't really done any fabric painting at all. But, you know, you just need to have the attitude that you just have to go for it. You just have to be fearless with trying new things. Like, just grab some blue painter's tape, a couple of fabric paints and some cheap fabric, and have at it. I mean, if anyone wants to commission me to make them a couple yards of this fabric or any sort of, like, striped fabric or anything like that, like, feel free to message my cosplay page on Facebook. I'll leave a link in the comments below. Um, but yeah, feel free to commission me if you want, but honestly, like, you can do this. You can easily do this. Really, the only limiting factor is having the space for it. I mean, I'm in my childhood bedroom in San Francisco, and I'm sitting where my bed used to be, so I have a lot more space than I have in my own apartment. And I knew in that, like, tiny apartment, having wet fabric, or wet paint on fabric, like, taking over my entire floor, like, it's a disaster waiting to happen. I'm just waiting to trip and then fall flat on it and then have stripes all over my body and be really dramatic. Whatever. Um, but yeah, other than like your own clumsiness and like the amount of space you have, this is totally doable. So go for it. And feel free to message me or leave a comment below and ask me any questions you have you know, I, I'm I'm here and I'm happy to help because this was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be and the effect makes me so happy. So happy Christmas Eve everyone. I guess this this is my present to myself this year of learning a new skill and going, I thought that was gonna be hard. Wait, what? Like that's actually totally doable. That was like maybe two hours of work. It, yeah, it was two hours of work, then I let it sit for maybe two hours, then I took off the tape, and then I let it sit overnight, and it's good to go. I'm probably not gonna start cutting it out and sewing it till I drive back down to LA, but like, it's done. So, on to the next project. <laughs>